Now let's talk more about the breaking news. These fast uh, developing uh, elements here of Donald Trump and the red state event uh, in Georgia. He was just invited after some comments he made. Uh, I want to focus now on women voters, especially women supporters. Let's bring in Paula Johnson. She is with the group Women for Trump, the coalition in New Hampshire. Uh, Ms. Johnson, so good to have you this morning. Well, thank you for inviting me on this morning. I appreciate it. We invited you before the comments made by uh, Donald Trump last night, and you uh, were a strong supporter. Do you, uh, is your level of support as strong for him this morning, considering the comments made about Megyn Kelly? Yes, it is. I am a true supporter of Mr. Trump's. I feel that he is the person that can make America great again. So what do you believe about the comments he made about uh, Megyn Kelly saying that blood was coming out of her eyes, blood coming uh, out of wherever, suggesting to many that uh, she was hormonal and that's why she was asking him tough questions? Well, you know, if you want to talk about a person uh, putting words in Mr. Trump's mouth or even suggesting, I would never even have thought of that. So, I mean, this, I think it was disgusting from the person from the Republican Party, you know, who said, who made that suggestion. I'm just outraged by his comments. Uh, I, as a woman, would never have thought about that. So you don't believe that's what he meant? I don't think so at all. Okay. Well, Mr. Trump has said over the years, he's uh, uh, called Rosie O'Donnell uh, many names, uh, a fat pig, called uh, uh, a columnist, Gail Collins, uh, uh, having the face of a dog, she says. Uh, there have been uh, reports of him telling a woman that uh, it would be a beautiful sight to see her on her knees. Those are things that, that Mr. Trump has said. Uh, are those concerning? Well, you know, let's take, you know, the press seems, and I agree with Mr. Trump on this, the press seems to take things out of context. You know, he had a pro battle, uh, battle with Rosie O'Donnell. They went back and forth, and I remember that battle on that. And then last night I heard on the radio that the comments about that woman, she would look better if she was on her knees, that even she said that the press took it out of context there. So, you know, when we're going to take it out of context here, you know, then we only get half the story. And, you know, I agree with Mr. Trump that we have better things in life right now. And what we need to do is stop being so politically correct in this country. And let's take a look at what's happened in this country. And when I look and see what the Republicans are doing, you know, some of these candidates that are running, you know, they make a lot of promises that they can't keep. They all, they have big backers out there. And I'm sorry, I'm tired of listening to these candidates asking, what's your opinion of Mr. Trump? Why don't we get down to the issues of this country with the deficits and the illegals that are in this country? And let's get this country going again and let's make it great the way it once was. Well, because the way we're going here and everybody's taking pot shots at everybody, it's sickening already. Is there this a whole policy? They're pitting one against the other. Is there a policy that you've heard from Donald Trump that you support? Is there a specific uh, agenda item that he's proven to you that he can uh, get done? Oh, yes, I truly believe he's a businessman. And I truly believe with his knowledge, he wouldn't be where he is in business if he wasn't so smart and knowledgeable. I really believe that he can take this country and turn it around. I truly believe he has a plan with the immigration. If it was not him who talked about the illegals out there, nobody would be talking about this. My friends and I talk about all the time about the illegals in this country. Look, I used to be elected in this state. I was a state rep. I was on the Board of Education and I was an alderman in Nashua. I see what goes on. I understand politics here. But you know, a lot of people come in with all these promises. You heard them all on the stage. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And when they get to Washington, you know what happens? They forget about us. And I don't think Mr. Trump will do that. He's giving up his personal life to run for president. And he's not a politician. And you know, it takes a lot of guts to stand up there on that stage and to be beaten up all the time. And let's face it, the Republicans don't want him there. And I think he'll be the best person to be able to debate if Hillary Clinton is the nominee with the Democrats. We does, all say she's going have, to be. There's no guarantee that she's going to be. Does he have the temperament, though, to be president? I mean, if that's his response to Megyn Kelly, who is a journalist asking him questions, what will be his response to other leaders, male and female around the world, if they don't uh, do what he is suggesting or if they um, respond in a way he doesn't like? Well, you know, I have to laugh with that question. Look at what we have for a president right now. 
He's not doing anything for this country. He's ready to give this country away to Iran mm. with a great deal that was going to hurt this country with the nuclear weapons here. So I think Mr. Trump, he's a businessman. He knows how to negotiate deals. And you know what? It, what are we going to do? We're going to let somebody uh, roll us over and and not walk away from the table if it's if it's not going our way. You know, it, it, I see what's happened to this country. Well, I'm I know, 61 years old. This is not in the America that know, we've had. Ms. And Johnson, Mr. there Trump are a lot of people who back. agree with you. Uh, it certainly shows in the polls. And I thank you so much for, for speaking with us as one of the uh, members of the Women for, for Trump Coalition uh, responding after what we've heard over the last 24 hours. Paula Johnson, thank you so much.